listening to The Wholeness Podcast with Melissa Catherine, only on LA Talk Radio. All right, guys, I am with us today, Amanda Francis, and I'm literally going to like fangirl, Um, but I love Amanda, um, and I've been a huge fan for like, and we've had like three degrees of separation between friends, so I was so excited when I got her new book and was able to get her on today's podcast. We're going to be talking about all the things, but first and foremost, I want to tell you about Amanda because I find her background to be fascinating. And um, what she's been able to do in such a short period of time and the mission that she's on is something that I find incredible, inspiring, and I'm so excited to share about along with her epic new book. Um, But Amanda is a world-renowned thought leader on financial empowerment for women. But in truth, I just find her to be around empowerment for women in all facets of life because you can apply her teachings to business, to love, to weight, to everything and anything. Um, and in the world of personal development, she is widely known as the money queen. Uh, we're going to talk about some of her photos. Also, um, like I said, she's got her new, I mean, honestly, she's in a bathtub. This beautiful lady right here in a bathtub <laughs> filled with money. How much fun is that? And this is her book, Rich as Fuck. Um, And she's written for Forbes Business Insider Success Magazine. She's on a mission to get the power of money into the hands of good-hearted women and men who are here to change the world. She combines her background in ministry, mental health counseling with practical business advice and deep knowledge of spiritual and energetic principles. And Amanda is incredible as a business coach, which we'll learn more about. She's a true self-made woman and multi-millionaire and in what only is it like 10 years now you have a seven figure business that's going on eight and didn't you do like yeah. five million last year yeah 5.2 in 2020 yeah okay. and it'll be my 10 year anniversary is in march of this year okay so in 10 years she went from nothing to 5.2 And it's through the principles that she teaches in this book and at all of her courses. Um, But most of all, I love that you're just an advocate for like, uh, I did it. I'm break. I brought you bringing you with me on this journey um, and showing everybody how to do the same. So I'm so happy to have you here. Um, Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's so great. Yeah. I'm like, welcome. So um, like I said, I'm going to fangirl on you because I did your money mentality makeover Um, Mm -hmm. I've done a ton of your courses actually. And I was just telling you guys, I was just telling Amanda before I started, you know, I've been in business for, um, a little under 10 years. And, uh, I was saying that I really wish that I would have found Amanda when I was first starting. So you had this ability to stay true to yourself and listen to your voice from the beginning, which is something that in the coaching world, I find so many have a, just in the business world and entrepreneur and being an entrepreneur, um, and especially in the world of social media, I get confused on, or really get caught up in personal judgment, the comparison game and Mm -hmm. losing sight of their own voice and vision while Mm -hmm. listening to a coach that they're investing money with. How did you stay in your own lane and stay connected to your vision? I didn't listen to a lot of people. I didn't listen to people. I didn't hire many coaches. I didn't have many mentors. Um, I ignored most people's opinions like adamantly and especially if they were contradictory to what I felt inside. I just, I don't know. You got to realize that no one doing anything in the world is any smarter than you. Like they aren't more special. They aren't more intelligent. They like, they just decided to do it. And then they kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it. Didn't give up. And that's, I would say like maybe like the main difference. And of course we all have different advantages and disadvantages and the world is not even. And like, I think it's important to take all of that into account. And I think the biggest thing at the end of the day is really like just the perseverance, the listening to your inner voice and the showing up day after day. 